Hey guys, Ryan here. So listen, uh, if you have been marketing online at all, or you're trying to, you're trying to use YouTube, you may have realized uh, that there's been some changes. There's been some evolving uh, with not only how Google interacts with YouTube, but especially how YouTube ranks things uh, on YouTube. So if you want to get more people to see your videos, more people to see your content, uh, if you have products, you're trying to get them in front of people, whatever it is that you want to get people to view, Right here's going to be seven killer tips on how to do that today, how to start doing that, and some simple changes you can make to your video. And all of this is going to be, I'm not going to get into backlinking or anything like that. I'm just going to focus on how to do your videos, how to set them up the way that YouTube likes them. Okay, so let's start with number one. All right, and uh, I'm going to try to go ahead and after I finish this, I'll try to write these at the bottom uh, to... Uh, in the subtitles, so you can see them as well. But the first one is make sure that you're liking, that you're commenting, and that you're sharing other people's videos. In fact, we try to make it like a, a sort of, or try to, sometimes forget, but try to interact with different people every day. Find videos, especially that are in your genre, but even just things that you like. But make sure that you're complimenting other people, that you're finding other things that you like rather than just posting stuff for yourself, right? If you're not being social, uh, then YouTube sees that and they see that as being selfish. Their whole program or their whole sort of platforms, they want you to be more social. That interaction is key, all right? So that's the first one. The second one is make sure uh, that you are having uh, your keywords in your title, if you're trying to rank it, but also in the tags. Make sure that you're using uh, a number of tags. You can actually use up to 12 tags, and a lot of people don't do this. I notice this a lot. Excuse me, because they only use... Like three. Uh, use as much space as I can. If you need to, like, Google something that's similar on Google to find search related, that's a great way to start. Uh, and then you can go from there with something that's similar because they associate the two. All right, so that's tip number two. Uh, number three, this is a big one, and uh, I don't see many people remembering to do this one as well, but it's make sure that you put a link uh, in your description. Okay, so under your video, after you make your video, put a link in the video to your channel. Number one, and number two, uh, to the video itself. So obviously you have to publish it and you have to come back and put that in there. But that way you're linking actually to the video. Uh, so you can also link to other videos, like use the URL of another video you've made as well. Um, so that's really smart. And then uh, number four would be use that uh, to actually connect to your Facebook or your social media profiles, Google Plus, that kind of thing. Put that in as well. Uh, Yes, yeah, so that's number five. Uh, number five, I would say go ahead and try to, uh, at the same time you're doing that, this is sort of 4A, 5, uh, get, uh, encourage people to hook up with you on other social media. Maybe they have questions. So maybe you, you can connect with them on Facebook or Twitter or again Google Plus or any of the thousands of social media out there, but those are usually the big three, right? So you can actually put your link to your profile in there as well. Uh, another thing that's really, really useful and, and powerful these days is the annotations, which you can you can create in the back, uh, and you can put them in different times in your video. So say, I tried to do one at like the end of this video so that you'll see it. You can now link those to other videos. That's huge as well. You can actually create a link so it's clickable in the annotation. So if you want to say, hey, guys, did you get some value out of this? All right. Well, if you did, here's some other videos that I've made that you may want to see as well. That's exactly what I'll leave at the end here, if I remember. Uh, so that's something else that you can do. And then uh, the last two things I want to give you, so one of them is a bonus, is create playlists. So if you have a certain subject, let's just say that you have a certain, um, I don't know, makeup that you are trying to tell people about, right? Uh, so make a playlist of your videos about that type of makeup, of the different things, the different videos uh, different topics about how to apply it, um, uh, before, after. This is not an area of subject. I don't know why I picked this one, but you get what I'm saying. It, okay, so you have topics, and then they follow each other for a playlist. Now, if you have a different set of, you know, you want different videos for something else, they create that playlist as well, and then you want to link those to each other. It's really, really powerful. Um, and then finally, when you see comments, respond to them quickly. And again, this comes full circle back to engaging. Okay, uh, so guys, 
Uh, those are seven or eight, however you look at it, uh, really powerful tips you can use right now to rank uh, your videos, to get them noticed, to drive engagement in YouTube, which that is the name of the game, is to drive engagement with people, uh, to interact, to build a fan base, right, and to help people. So, guys, I hope you got something out of this. And if you want more training, if you want to see more videos like this or uh, how to build uh, an income part-time online, uh, which is exactly what I began to do when I know nothing, then click the link and it'll take you to some of my other videos. All right. I'll see you soon. Take care.